Hello. Same Wednesday, yeah. And I have here a little fellow. He's coming from China, you know. <laughs> he just arrived. Usually the order from China comes in uh, around two weeks. This is a IT chip, yeah. IT eight eight five E is a startup chip, yeah. So basically, when uh, everything is fine, you check. You have the ninety volts power rail. You have three point three, and you press the power button, but nothing happens. So probably your startup chip is gone, like this one, yeah. I'll get the laptop. I didn't have a movie diagnosing that laptop because I don't do movie for all the things, you know. But let's go together and let's replace the chip and let's see how how we can replace a chip like this, you know, a big one, yeah. Yeah, waiting for chip. Okay, the chip just arrived. This is a Asus model X553S. Yeah. And the problem with this one, this is that. But already I checked this laptop. And um, and uh, the chip is blown up, I think. Let's open this quickly. And let's replace that big chip. And let's see if I was right or not. I just finished the the I just finished the, the, the that job with the iMac. I put all together, it's done. But I was thinking, you know Try to get these videos like informative video, you know. If you have enough money to buy another graphic card, buy another graphic card. If you can do reballing, do reballing, yeah? If you want to do a quick job, like I how I, I done, just do it, you know. But I remember my last video about graphic things. And it was a lot of dislikes and a lot of comments and they just lost one screw. And these are some long screws. Ah, uh -huh. oh, it's not this one. Okay, found it. Okay, let's see. Hey, my chip, my chip. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> you know, if you order from China and uh, it's new, the chip is new, that doesn't mean it's good. Okay. It was no ribbon cable plugs because I left them out. Let's take everything out. Let's uh, check again. This is a, just a cheap laptop. But that's not important because it must be fixed. Look at the processor. That's the processor with the heatsink. <laughs> yeah, look at the chip. You look at my, my chip, you see? You can see it's blown up there. But that's not even important. On this one, 
I have 19, but I don't have 3.3. .3. And why I don't have 3.3? .3? Not because the power supply is dead, but because on the BIOS chip, it is the most easy things to check on the BIOS chip. One second, let me let me start the microscope. Yeah. I told you that the, the easy way to check the the 3.3 is on the bio ship because on the bio ship you know already so you have ground and you have the 3.3 should be on this pin on the last pin yeah and you can see zero you can see that is short yeah or if we go on continuity it's not really short probably it's like around few ohms 1.5 ohms you know so something is in short 100% is not a BIOS chip, but the other chip you can see is blow up. A big hole in, on the chip. Yeah, so that chip is gone. So what we'll do today, we'll replace this chip, yeah? Let me isolate the, the hard drive connector because it's made by plastic. It's not hard, it's not complicated, but you should be careful, you know, just be careful. You have a lot of trucks there. A lot of pins to be sure are sold on place. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The first step, let's take the chip down, yeah? I will use my liquid flux because uh, we will come with 500 degrees to take the chip out. The chip position yeah, is on that side. I need a big, big tweezer. Hmm? Maybe. It looks fine. Let me remodulate the uh, remodulate the this tweezer to fit to our purpose. Yeah, now it looks fine. Yeah, five hundred degrees. It's just like a quick injection. Injection, you know. We'll take the chip out. Yeah. You can see I have no nozzle on the on the hot air machine. Yeah, that's the chip. We took the chip out. Everyone is happy. Uh, where I put a new chip? Oh here. Ah, <laughs> found it. Yeah. Let's come with the new chip. I see nothing hard. Now the hard thing is to fit the chip on the... Oh, you want to check for short? Okay, let's check for short, yeah? Again... Yeah, ground, the last pin, and it's not short anymore, yeah? You can see? It's not short anymore. Let's fit the chip. Yeah, the hard part is to... Put the chip on place, you know, because there are a lot of pins. I will get the small nozzle, you know, the small one for phone. And you will see why. Because I'm not solder the pins with that solder iron, it does long. <laughs> I don't really have that time. There are so many pins here. Okay. 
I'm really sorry, but I really have to keep this on focus. So we just need to put this on each pin to be over the pin from the board. You know what you can do? You can even solder a few pins with a solder iron if you want. That's the hard part. After that it's easy, yeah? And you'll see what we will do when we will find the position. Ah oh, no. Okay, everything is fine, but here. Here I'm, I'm not happy with what happened here. Uh, actually, I should be happy. Mm, yeah, okay. Let's keep this pressed, yeah? But not with my hand. Okay. Let's try to make them focus for you, yeah? Because I think it's on the position, yeah? Hot air. Five hundred degrees. And now the chip can uh, can move itself. It just so I want to solder a few pins, yeah. Okay, I think now we can take this out, and we can get concentrated on each side of this chip, yeah. Mm -hmm. Where is the chip? This here, yeah. Be yeah, yeah, it's better. Okay. I'll keep this press down and I'll. Uh, Any more air and temperature? Come on, I need 500. 500. Okay. Let's move it. On this side. It's not very straight. <laughs> and I'm not very happy with what's going on here. Yeah. We go forward with what we have. Okay. 
and see this side. So what do you think about this? Hmm? Looks complicated. Huh? Now let's go closer and try to Of course you can't see, but why this happened? Because of the camera? Let's see, when it's focused for me... You know, let's fix this issue now. Yeah, we have a... One second. Let's see, let me, let me check. Yeah, just try to sort the things with the microscope. Now it's on focus for me. But for you to be, okay, it's moving. Okay, that's the okay, that's the catch. So to be on focus for you, I have to. Oh, come on, I think I fixed the problem. Let's see now. So now it's to focus for me and for you. Ha ha ha. It was so easy. Maybe not. Try again. Nearly, nearly on focus. But for me, it's fine. Okay, that's quite bad, you know. So we have those pins which are not soldered. Now where is my chip? Where is my chip? Here, oh, that's bad. Here, are okay. Yeah, that's the thing. So sometimes you try to prove a point. You know, no, no, I can't say it never happened this thing. What happened now? Actually, I soldered the chip. Uh, the pins are not getting soldered on the place. But it, it can happen, you know. But most of the time, I'm, you know, I just put the chip, it's like five minutes job and everyone is happy. But not this time, no when I'm doing a video, no. No. I'm not that lucky. Okay, let's see. Now I have to go like a beginner for all these pins and solder all the pins. It was not supposed to happen this thing, you know? Your 
Yeah. Good, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. But the, by the way, this is not my flux, this is the arm tank one. Because we can see everything. And on this case, it's okay, it's a good idea to see everything there. I can't believe I'm doing a video soldering the, 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 the big chip each pin. This was supposed to be a straightforward thing, you know, just soldering with the hot air and... Uh, nearly to break that pin, that track. <sighs> Where is the chip? I see. Anyway, good idea how you can replace this chip. Usually when you are doing these things with the hot air, that all the pins get soldered without using, you know, the solder iron. Okay. Here is fine and... The things on the on the microscope I can see a lot better than the than we you see on the on the screen. So I know for sure when something is soldered or not. I can't believe I just break that track. <laughs> okay, that's bad. We have to redo that track. And uh, I need my wire. That's because I'm hurry up.
finish this thing and move forward. Okay. That's not my day. Definitely it's not my day. Where is my cutter? Hmm? Yes, here. Okay. Everything seems to be fine. Our track is fine. Yeah, these pins are soldered. Let's check, yeah, let's test. Let me clean quickly the the chip I don't know if this flux, you know the Amtec one is corrosive over the time so I don't know nothing about this flux, I know about mine mine is okay, it's fine but I will clean just to be sure nothing wrong will happen over the time So let's check together, yeah? The board is working or not? Okay, the screen connector and yeah, we have the lights see if it's coming on yeah the power button is there so that's not a problem the fan to see if it's the board is coming on okay let's check power supply 19 ground plus and power up okay we have some lights here one more finger on screen So what's going on? Okay, it's coming on. It's on. It's working! Ah! Okay, let me show you again. Come on. Power on. It's on. It's no battery. Well. Probably because it's no battery and it's no BIOS battery on this board. It's doing this thing. Yeah. Comes on and goes off. And now, 
It's coming on and it's working. Should be working. It's a brand new chip. Asus. Yeah, and I have the BIOS. So my chip is starting the board. So everything seems to be fine. Let's. Ah, uh, it's, it's moving. The the ground is moving. Yeah. Okay, so we have the ground. Now the ground is fine, yeah? Plus... I should connect the battery. The phone is not spinning. So it's working, yeah? Let's power off. On again. It's working, yeah? Because it's not biased battery. Is way it's off. You know, let me plug the hard drive to be sure it's working. You know, let me plug the battery. Okay, and the hard drive. Which is where? Hmm? Where did I put the hard drive? <laughs> of course I have no idea. Of course. So I have this. It was a hard drive inside or not? Hmm? Huh? This one? Oh yeah, it's here, sorry. Haha. <laughs> it was here. We have battery. And the battery has power. Ha. Huh. Let's put a plus here. It's on. Preparing automatic repair. Blah blah blah. It's working. It's on. Yeah. Let's try to switch off. Okay. Off. Let's start to turn on. On. It's loading up the windows. It's taking 1.1 amp. Everything is fine. That's means it's charging the battery. I knew. So you got the point? Yeah. Yeah, checking the disk. Yeah, it's working on the battery. Everything is fine, yeah. So uh look. I know this is bad, you know. I, I, I was trying to do a video about how quick we can replace that chip. Well, actually, everything goes wrong. So, you can do it. You can try to do it with hot air. Or, you can do it more safe on this way, solder pin by pin, yeah? 
this is a lot more safe using 500 degrees on those spins you know it's if you play too much with the hit with 500 degrees on that chip you can kill the chip yeah so if you do it do it quickly if you can't do it just solder pin by pin yeah thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and see you probably later yeah the laptop is working fine the windows is yeah bye